Hey everyone, BTM Kiwi back again with another Forza Horizon Far Forzathon. This week we need to own and drive the 1998 Toyota Supra RZ. That's the turboed version. Uh, we then need to drive five miles in it, which will probably be eight kilometers. We then need to win a street race in either A class or S1 class. And then we need to earn six stars at drift zones in it. Nice and simple and easy. I've got a daily equip, any donut media clothing item, the character customization. Um, the PR events were easy. The treasure hunt was easy. You just need to use a Honda Prelude. Upgraded to B class, I believe it was, and win a race. The stadium is in the actual Guanajuato City. It's the baseball stadium. It's um, You'll find it on the map donated, uh, denoting a, um, if that's the correct word, uh, there will be like a little baseball bat icon. And yeah, nothing too much to it. Let's check out our Forzathon shop. Definitely grab that Lotus Avija, or Avija, how it's pronounced, if you don't already have it. And we got a Mercedes Benz SL65 Black Edition, or Black Series, um, as a reward car. I think there was only like 350 of those ever made. Right, let's as well put on a donut media thing and then yeah welcome back Braden let's see first let's bump it to s1 then we've already got an a class super Probably be safer to have it in A class just because it's a bit more natural for it to be there. But oh well. Oh, you Grundy, eh? be forced into using Don Joe on songs thing. Probably plenty better, but I can't be bothered looking. Lead it. Let's see, Donut Media. I don't know why it's wearing a skirt, but that's. It's weird.
see, is there a donut media? <laughs> that one's pretty good. Ugh, really put the V8 in it. Oh, I can go back and change my character. Get out of this silly outfit. So we needed to drive five miles, so eight kilometers. Yeah, I was right, it is about eight. I didn't think it would be bang on eight, but geez. It's a pretty weird rear bumper. I suppose it's a regular bumper. And then it's got the fender flares wide body on the side, so then it just looks weird with that um, diffuser on the bottom. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can tell this is a Japanese Supra because, well, it's not only is it right-hand drive, but the speedo goes to 180. And all the cars in Japan have speed-governed engines to limit them to 180 top speed. Most of them, at least. Not sure about now, but back then, yes. Whereas if it was a New Zealand new, or, straight, or an Australian new um, Super RZ, that speedo would probably go up to something like 240, 270 kilometers an hour. Really? Go and knock me right as I'm about to cut in. Jesus. The car's a bit understeery and doesn't brake very well. It needs to have a bit more front brake bias and front brake pressure. Maybe some lift tweaks to slow it down when not under acceleration. Maybe a little bit of rear downforce lifted or reduced and maybe the front increased slightly then it'll probably be quite good. Maybe a little more front camber. That should be that step complete. Now we need drift zone stars. Uh, we'll just do the one at the horizon site.
a ride at your destination. Turn around when it is safe to do so. Yeah, break while she struggles. All right, that's that. 86 versus BRZ. See, I like the BRZ better, but I prefer the styling of the 86 front end. Only because, like, it's a boxer engine, a Subaru boxer engine, so it should be a Subaru. <laughs> but I prefer the front bumper styling of the 86. It just looks a bit more aggressive. And sharp. Because the BRZ just looks a bit more tame. Probably more aerodynamic though. Alright, that's going to conclude this week's Force Thon, everyone. Hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that follow button and subscribe, all that good stuff. Um, if you want to find my YouTube channel, because I'll be exporting this to there. Um, you can follow the link underneath my live stream panel, as well as in the past stream description. Um, I upload all my clips and stuff there too, so that's one of the good things about that. So if you guys are interested, then um, why don't you guys mosey on over there. And if you like what you see, then why don't you help me out and subscribe. It'd mean a hell of a lot to me and I very much appreciate it. Um, if you're on my YouTube channel and want to find my Twitch or my live stuff, you can follow the link in the channel banner as well as in the past streams description. And uh, yeah, drop a comment on stuff you guys would like to see me do next, or things you think I could do better for just a pop and a say, hey. And I hope you're having a great day, or, or a great night, wherever in the world you are. Alright, peace out everyone. Have a good one.